Welcome everyone to SmackDown. No intro because... No, oh, joke. Game. No, it was this time as you. Remember, I played it for when we tried to, but you decided you wanted to become a mime. Uh, uh yeah. No, no, mime. A strong, silent type. Hey, it wasn't my fault that my dad was home at the time and I couldn't, you know, talk that loud, sir. Fair enough. And we'd probably hey, wake we up the entire get... block. <laughs> hey, at least we can get into it now and get back into doing what we like to do once in a while. So, Xbox offered Sony 10 years of Call of Duty on PlayStation, and they still don't want it. Hey, I'll be honest with you. I, I would take it. I'd take it and then be on my best behavior so COD stays on PlayStation. Cause hey, I think this is a losing battle cause DK, they're, the they're probably gonna get fired. Those regulars. Anyway, US Championship match. Yes. But yeah, I found out why our videos were game blocked. I will just say it has something to do with uh, the dungeon jokes. Now about Jackal. <laughs> and that was the most recurring thing I noticed from the blocked videos. That we talk about Jackal's dungeon <laughs> that he does not have. Not anymore. He retired it. It's gone forever. It burned to the ground. Mysteriously. Yes. Anyway, Brock Lesnar is challenging Jacob Cass for the United States Championship of the World. Well, I can already see how this is going to go. I think we're going to have a new U.S. champ at the end of this match. Yep. And as a special... Well, as a precaution, we have arrested Ben Bannon. He's locked in a broom closet somewhere. Yes. He's locked in the broom closet, and the one that's watching... Yep, we that also broom took closet. that broom closet, locked in a vault, and then we threw said vault in the sea. <laughs> I'll be yeah, right back. So Bannon cannot interfere in this match. Yeah, Grandma got the dogs all worked up just to tell me the most important information. MJF, MJF sucks. sucks. Yes. <laughs> I guess you heard that. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm so happy that MJF is champion. She hates him. so nice. Yeah, here's our United States champion. What did your friend think of Cass's reign? I didn't know that video got blocked, but I'm trimming that part out, so... Yeah. Well, um, my friend says it was nice having him as champion. The wallet, <laughs> well, laughs because hey, technically we, he is a light heavyweight, so he could join our our light heavyweight light division. heavyweight division. I yeah, have a couple so people Jess. in mind for that tournament. Jess is a light heavyweight as well, so if he can't win the United States Championship. Or the for the U.S. Championship. I know, until Jacob loses it. I know. If he can't win that title, or the also, Intercontinental... I'm a special... Put him in the light heavyweight division. But I'm <laughs> a special stipulation for the light heavyweight title. If you can win seven matches defending the title in a row, then you can trade the title in for a world championship match. Like we're doing kind of with the... 
United States title, but you have to make sure you win. Introducing the challenger. Yeah. From Minneapolis. I mean, I guess the advantage with the light heavyweight is that you can pick and choose. U.S. title? Oh, you can go straight off with that. No, we got a rule. You defend the title every week. No, it's ends or buts. If you can't defend the title, hell, it was nice knowing you as U.S. champion. Yes, we will. Isn't that right, Cass? I mean, it was nice knowing you, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, yeah, nice knowing him as United States champion for what? A week? Well, why? Not even hey, a he week. He defended like... the title three times, I think. No, he won it. Defended it twice. Yes, so he's won. Hey, Ben Ben, and he has all the right in the world. Well, all the reason in the world not to interfere in this match. Because, hey, he'll be the the United States Championship match. Yes. And then yeah, we don't have to put another match on the card. And come yeah, on, we got a eight-man tag team elimination match. And a 60-minute Iron Man Hell in a Cell match. Yeah, it's like we're really preparing you for Survivor Series. Rock, you're is, letting me down is, here. This is technically our go home show as well. Yeah, Raw's go home show was not that good. Oh, yeah, I will say. And Johnny like, Gargano's theme change. That was the biggest thing to me. They changed Johnny's theme. I don't care about any contracts running out. I will just say if AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bianca Belair, and whoever else CFO themes are still being used, I don't see why you just don't pay for Johnny Gargano and all the other people's themes. Instead of giving them generic wrestler theme song number 12. Missy Watson, hang on. I think they just need to hire like a better uh, song creating department, to be honest. Yeah, Jacob yeah, Cass. Uh huh. He's kicking Brock Lesnar's ass here. Surprisingly, so. Like Brock has. Do you think that GTH took a lot of Brock? Did he suffer a concussion? I have no idea. Like because Brock is not normally well Brock at the moment. He's getting his ass handed to him, and that normally never happens. Cass reversed. I knew I'm that Cass only needs to win one more match after this. And then he faces Zarian, the WWE Champion. Yes, that's if he can hold on to the title. And Cass, Which it was is... nice knowing you. Oh, especially now that Brock has, well, got mind. momentum on his side. Uh, well, yeah. I may have to check the difficulty to see if I changed it back or not. And guess. Yes, that'll be Where's very that good. ADT? Because we need to know if this is on legend difficulty or not. Yeah, I was playing some My Rise. I became WWE champion, and then my character dated Mandy Rose for a cup of coffee. <laughs> a cup of coffee. Yeah, and then he got outed by literally the entire women's r roster, it seemed. And then that relationship fell through. I ca I found it funny that I was playing Zarian and Mandy Rose was his, well, one week love interest. And Mandy Rose is the one I picked for the Royal Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> now that's continuity. Like, was it exactly a one-week love thing yep. in my rise as well? Yep. Well, at least they keep it consistent, <laughs> I guess. And <laughs> Jacob reversed. And Cass. Go for the gut check into the sick. Nope. Nope, Brock reversed it. I mean, Brock didn't reverse the gut buster, but he reversed the sick kick. Brock is kind of disappointing me at the moment. 
We talk about it's a four to... Yeah, four and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, yes, three and a half star four. match. He's still disappointing me with how bad he's doing against Jacob. Match isn't over yet. Remember? Yeah, it's like... Where the suplex? No. Oh, nope. Cass Jacob reversed the butterfly suplex. And Cass Snide, I was gonna go for the shooting star. The corkscrew shooting star. Yes, and Brock moved out of the way. There's the suplex. Yeah. Play back and forth match between these two, and Cass. Nope. Cass is now. Oh, the fisherman. Oh, fisherman driver. And Cass, I mean, he's put everyone away with this move. Can he put the beast away? And he nails it. Is this going to be the end of the match? Two. Brock, Brock is the first man to kick out of that. Brock, you're doing well, I guess. I mean, you haven't eat the feet yet. <laughs> Get it. Oh, yeah, Brock that's Mia Yim. I'm I'm sorry. Mi Ching. Mi Ching. Whatever. That's crazy yeah, as that. finisher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Brock. Suplex City time, bitch. Is that the end for Jacob Cass? I don't think so. One, two, <laughs> he takes that. Okay, I guess I did change it to Legend. Brock. And Brock. Ooh. Yep, that's the best. Rock. One, two, Brock hit now. <laughs> Boy, what an opening match we got here. I guess you were glad I brought Jacob in. I mean, he is impressing me. And... More than I thought Jacob it was the F5. Ugh, and you're dead. Count it, ref. One, two, three. We have a new United States champion, people. We knew it was gonna happen. Jacob, back on the line. That means that it's Survivor Series. It's going to be. Brock Lesnar versus Ben Bannon in a false kind of anywhere extreme rules match for the United States Championship. Yeah. Who now ben. is going to walk out as champion? And who is going to challenge our great god king of the WWE? Find out whenever we decide to do Survivor Series. Going to be a much shorter show than before because we don't really have that many matches. Yes, we. Yes, we what? Oh, I was gonna say, we do not have that many matches, but they're matches that are gonna count. But yeah, so also tonight in the main event, because I didn't get time to say because I was complaining about Johnny Wrestling and the Xbox thing. <laughs> uh, tonight's main events. I have bad news for everyone. Jackal says that tonight is beneath him. So he put Jesser Anarchy in his spot with Robert. To take on Valen and Blake Baker. Hey, I'm Jackal. Next. Women! Yes, women! My favorite part of the show. I hate. Yeah, I like eye candy water. too. Are they really eye candy? Why, well, yeah, like Dakota? I mean, like, I hope the match is good because we have. I kinda like her better in this look than with. Now ah, the hairdo she has now. Fair enough. See, that fan knows what he's talking about. He said, now nah, we're talking. 
<laughs> hey, uh, Dakota Kai here is gonna take on the WWE Women's World Champion, Jamie Hayter, who is also the AEW Women's World Champion right now. Oh, my bad. Interim. So, technically not the women's champion. She's the interim champion. On our show, we don't do the interim crap. Yeah, AEW's actually thinking about getting rid of the interim championship as well. I call BS because you didn't do that for CM Punk. And hey, they just really hate Thunder Rosa if they do do it for some reason. I now know, did Thunder Rosa kick Tony Khan's favorite puppy? No, it's a lot of backstage politics that are. I don't bad. get it. She's so over. Why does he hate? Why does it seem like he hates her for some reason? I mean, not like it matters. I fully expect Thunder Rose is gonna drop the title to Hater or Tony Storm after the way Jamie won the match. Oh yeah, most definitely. There's no way. And then he can banish Thunder Rosa to Dark. Pinner, that's your finisher. Yes. Don't <laughs> choke her. Pin her. Yeah, so, who do you got in this, and what does your friend think of our booking of Jamie Hayter? It's definitely a lot better than some of our other women. I know it's our last yes. champion, Sasha. Yes, Sasha was our last champion, only because you forced the title off of Alexa Bliss. It was for the greater good. And how did that <laughs> turn out, Butler? Not well! That did pretty good! And um, we got Hayter as the champion. Things are going somewhat well for our women. I mean, we got rid of one championship for them, so now we can focus solely on this one. Yeah, and I think that's the best thing we could have done is focus hey, on Hey, AEW Fight one. Forever's coming out, so we could have them start fighting for men's championships. Yes, yeah, like, but for right now, for us, we have it better to wear the women. And I can't wait to see Jamie Hayter defeat Jackal. Um, no. You're right. We need the match that everyone wants to see. Jackal versus Abaddon. And a buried alive match. No. <laughs> no, the match we need to see is Jackal and Zary Zarian either in a lights out match. A, you know. Or an exploding barbed wire death match. That's what we need to see. Yeah, I mean, I de I'm definitely going to have to go back to heavy editing. You know, if they don't have an online universe mode type thing. And yeah, close there. on. Pin her, you idiot. Jamie, what are you doing? You dominated Jamie, that match. Jamie won. Wait, she could have that match won, like, so much sooner, but she just decided to play with her food. Yes, hello. What? Is your friend ready for Io Shirai versus Jamie Hayter? Hmm. Or does he not care? I don't know. I have to ask my friend, because honestly, I don't really care, but you know what? It'll be interesting to see. Anyway, up next. It's yes, a rematch. Cameron, Cameron Grimes, Grimes challenges Eddie Guerrero in a rematch. LA Knight's not happy with him for losing, so... Yeah, he's not here. It's just Yes, Cam well... Maybe Cameron can actually pull off the victory this time. Oh, so they actually put it back in the tag entrances for this. Kind of weird having Cameron Grimes come out to LA Knight's theme. 
I am not complaining, and his theme is dope. I wonder what they're gonna change it to. I don't think his theme is a CFO theme. Yeah, as I said well. before, if AJ Styles can have his CFO theme, then I don't see why... Well, literally anyone else can't have the CFO theme. And could you imagine Bobby Roode without Glorious? Honestly, no. Well, outside of WWE, I could see it, but in WWE, no, he has to be glorious. Anyway, here he is. He lies, he cheats, he steals. Eddie, that's the wrong the Eric Arnell Championship. Title. You need to get Eddie an updated shirt. Either that or just switch out the IC title. <laughs> I know, find out on our Survivor Series if I'm gonna... I mean, if the, if the only championship I'll change is probably the IC title, because, come on, the white strap. It's beautiful. Yeah, that title's actually on sale right now. And they can, I may there. actually get a replica one. Maybe. Maybe, he says. Then he probably wants. I mean, that pay per view is going to take a lot out of me. Alright. Here we go. Yes, and Cameron Grimes. Oh, yeah, and for those wondering, it is our great God King going to be on the show? Sadly, no. He took a vacation. Well, he Jackal to me. says he's a coward. Hey, what he said to me is that Jackal is too poor to afford his time. Jackal said, he even if he doesn't wrestle, he shows up to the show. Unlike <laughs> some people. Hey, he's the champ. He gets to do what he wants. If Jackal wants to be here entertaining the poors, be his guest. Hey, that's what makes him the champion. It makes Jackal not the champion. Jackal said soon. Soon. And hey. At the pay-per-view. Jackal's gonna... Well, get shown why Zarian is the kingmaker in the company. Cameron, you're failing me here. Cameron is getting his ass handed to him. So where's your friend then? Does he think we should break up Money Inc. and just have it be Ted in LA? I mean... My friend hasn't really commented that much on it, but my friend has said they... He thinks he... They might be better as singles. Right out. Then... <laughs> tag team. I didn't think of it. This is the most we've ever done. With the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, like we... we now then, we Jackal. Just... Oh, yeah. Jackal was, like... The main... Guy that ran with the championship. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, and now something Joker. Really relevant. Now something Joker. I also thought, well, how about instead of a... Uh... A light heavyweight title. We bring in a UK or European championship. Nah, I like the light heavyweight championship better. Surprised. I thought you would be all in for a European title. And Eddie. One amigo. Two amigo. And the third. I only wanted the <laughs> um, European Championship for Jackal's reign of well, when he was Intercontinental Champion. Wow, Cameron reversed. His reign of terror. I, 
Yes. I am surprised. Oh, Spanish fly. Is that the in one, two, kick out? You got to work a little bit harder, Cameron. Oh, you know, I watched some of our old AWA videos. I was waiting for my shift to start. Uh huh. Hey, decided to watch our Brody Lee versus Eddie Guerrero match. Those were brutal. Uh. And I oh, pissed yeah. you off a lot with the with kicking out of everything. <laughs> it's like you, you kept kicking out of everything. I kept kicking out of everything. Like we. Hey, this is the one moment. Off. This is the one moment that you threw a temper tantrum. You hit me with the frog splash. I kick out at one. Catch you out of nowhere with the discus clothesline. Pin you. You just give up, so I let you out. And then I hit you immediately with another one and pin you. <laughs> I kick out too. <laughs> no, you did kick out. <laughs> you lost. Oh, my fuck. Well, I was kicking out of almost everything. I also watched our Crimson Grave versus Ace match. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Ace won. Crimson dominated. <laughs> and Cameron, I'm Eddie Frog Splash. That one, two, three, anyway. But I think, like, we were just so competitive with each other in the AWA, so, like, yes, yeah, it might have pissed me off at times, but I'm like, okay, I like the challenge. It's LA Knight. A... What? Oh, LA Knight, you're not supposed to be here. And Eddie, nope. Eddie reverse. But we, we did put on some really good matches, though. Oh, what? What's happening? Ted! Uh-oh. Nope, you reverse. Oh! Dude, he reversed the glory box. Ted! What are you doing? Ted! No, Ted, stop! Oh, Ted's going after LA, LA Knight! Why? I know, but this is the weirdest back and forth ever. Yes, I can agree with that. Gory! Nope. Do I even have the Gory <laughs> Bomb on him? I'm starting to think I don't, because he's never used it. That looks like Eddie Man. gets the be better of LA Knights. And Ted DiBiase helped. Ted. Their loyalties are very strange in this series. You turned on Bannon <laughs> to team with Blake, and then you turned on Blake and Bannon to join LA Knight and Kevin, and now you're turning on LA Knight? <laughs> what is happening? Hey, maybe he was trying to give LA Knight a pep talk. We don't know what's going on. But yeah, up next. We are testing out our new number one contenders for the Tag Team Championships. Yeah, I'm sorry you probably forgot about that. I... I did. Yeah, so you still got to test Lorcan and... Danny. Honey and Birch. Honey Lorcan and Danny Birch. They're taking yeah. on FTR and they're... Is this their debut? I think it is. I have no idea, to be honest. But yeah, so we gave him a formidable foe in... Hey, you know, I must ask, is your friend upset that Jess did not get the W against Cass? Yes. He was very upset. Is Jacob Cass becoming one of his favorites? No, but he has also said that Jacob is a formidable person that no one should underestimate. Oh, there they are, the living legends. <laughs> I 
Yes, F T R. Find this is another theme I could see them. I mean, do they own their current theme song? I have no idea. I don't know, if they did come back to WWE, would you want them to use their FTR theme that they're having now? Or that... That one, well, what was it called? Southern Pride? Um... I mean, I'd be happy You know what I'm talking any. about, their WWE theme. Yeah, I'd be happy with either theme, to be honest. Yeah, they are. They are. Yes. Yeah. Let's see how. I'm surprised these guys aren't actually back. I know. I expect back. them to be game yep. changers, but they're really good. Yes. We just have to wait and see. Yeah, so, anyway, what do you think the chances are that they're going to win this? And does um, your think that the Heart Foundation is screwed against Lorcan and Birch? No, my friend does not have fear that the Heart Foundation can lose at this moment. I mean, I would agree with him that stranger things have happened. Oh, trust me, I know stranger things have happened in this series. Hell, Bruce came back. And became our ch the champion the United States deserved. Yes. I'm guessing it's Bruce that's, that got it abandoned now some countries. Oh, we love you, Verse. I didn't like your friend like a Bruce Adele versus Crimson Grave. Or Carrion Cross, I think it was Cross. <laughs> it was Cross. My friend said it was a good catch. And he also still questions me, why the hell did I ever create Bruce and what caused me to make Bruce? And I'm like, <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> You lost the bet. Well, I already had Bruce as a character, but yeah, I lost the bet and had to put Bruce in, well, lingerie, and well... And then a legend took was off born. From there. Yeah, it took off from there. Who knows, maybe we'll have to bring back the Ace Strippers. And we have Ace, we just don't have anything for him right now because we're on the build to Survivor Series. Yes, an ace could be put in our light heavyweight division as well. That's Elias' finisher now. Yeah, that dude gets a new finisher like all the time. Because, you know, Nikki Cross uses the swinging neck breaker. She calls it yeah. the purge. The purge. Interesting. Calls it the purge. Hey, and I'll say this, if the Bruce keeps doing good, there's a possibility that he'll be our workhorse champion someday. Yeah, like Bruce has the potential. Who knows, maybe even Zarian will give him a look. Not in that way. Oh, yeah. I'll give him the struggle. in an ass kicking way. And. Yes. Is this the end for Bert? Two. And nope. I need to go defeat FTR. Well, Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch are not looking that well because I'm glad Oni kicked out. Oh, well. One, two, three. Bam. Birch took the pin. Fuck. Well. Uh. Okay. Alright, FDR. Yeah. I got an offer you cannot refuse. 
Yeah. You want, no, say you your Survivor want, Series. You, you want, want yeah. Match. Yep, I was and about to ask you. it's gonna be elimination. <laughs> I was just about to ask. Did you want to make this match at Survivor Series a triple threat tag team match? Yeah, that should make things more exciting. I'm sure your friend can't predict who's gonna come out of that now. Oh no! Like <laughs> FDR destroyed Bert and Oni. I'm the next for light heavyweight division. AJ Styles, boy, what has the world come to? Versus Seth Rollins, boy, what has the world come to? <laughs> the world has come to. Well. Right, we have these guys fighting for our fourth major championship. I mean, at least they're fighting for a championship. Not really, they're just fighting for the opportunity to impress us, so we include them in our tournament. Man, I will say this, we will put them in the tournament if they impress. If they don't... Yeah, I also found out that Seth Rollins' current theme is in this game. You didn't know that? No, I did not. We never used Seth Rollins. And if we did, it was Messiah Seth Rollins. Fair enough. And they don't exactly have the same theme. Well, you're not wrong about that. But yeah, let's see who out of AJ Styles and Seth Rollins will impress us enough to potentially maybe move on to our light heavyweight championship tournament. Burn it down. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to keep track of this somehow. Yes. Hey, at least we can't... At least people can't say we get didn't get the oh, opportunity. Uh, we did not. Yeah, I'll probably... Yeah, probably add that in the next game, more than likely. Yeah, come on. Who doesn't like Seth? Matt Riddle? Well. Or at least Matt Riddle's ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> that was a metaphorical question. Yes, yes, I know that. Seth Rollins and Matt Riddle's wife have, like, issues, and... Oh, you know something about the women? I wish hmm. you luck for whoever it is that's not named Sasha Banks. <laughs> I have a feeling whoever it is, they're gonna get eviscerated if it's not Sasha Banks. Hey, I am now in... Not sure if it is gonna be Sasha. I don't think it is gonna be Sasha, to be honest. That and if it is, I still think it's a bad move not to pair her, pair her with Bailey. Cause hey, Bailey needs a partner in crime. Nice reverse spice, AJ. Who knows? Maybe yeah. we could have an old feud going on. You know, your favorite one, Joker. Tommaso Ciampa versus AJ Styles. No. 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 <laughs> no. We're not going through that again because it took us forever to even fucking finish it the first time. So I say no. It's never got it. Look how long this feud between Zarian and Jackal's been going on. It's been pretty much going on since we started this series. 
Hey, but the Jackal Zarian feud has always stayed interesting. The Tomasa Champa That twist and turns feud. and it's all coming to a close. Pretty soon. Yeah, I know, they could probably Kyle. get it all the way to WrestleMania, but that's a wait and see. Yeah, we don't want to over push it and you know, make it overstay its welcome. I don't know, maybe that will be the WrestleMania match. We'll see. And we got the Royal Rumble to go through. Yes. And any I mean, funny enough that was made. actually my original ending. <laughs> But Zarian, but you gave Zarian money in the bank, so I had to change course. I didn't give Zarian money in the bank. Yeah, Zarian won money in the bank. You put him in that match. Because he earned it. I deserved an opportunity at it, sure, but... Nah. I gave him a shot. Hey, it's all fine with me. I mean, our beloved king is champion. Also, we're going to have the money in the bank at WrestleMania. And then whoever wins, they're going to be our Mr. and Mrs. Money in the Bank going into the next game. Ah. So yeah, we're getting rid of money in the bank. That's no longer going to be one of our pay-per-views. Which is fair. No, that is if we ever finish this series. We're trying. Boy, we are trying. To We're almost there. We got one of our series. And I feel like we kind of disappoint people when we get them into the series and then we just end it without, and you know. Seth. Going all the way through it, I should say. <laughs> yes, set. Oh. oh, oh, nice kick to the back of the head. I don't think Seth's ever done that. Hey, but it's pretty cool though, and AJ kicked out. Well, why wouldn't he? He's AJ fucking style. And the curb stomp. And that might be the end of AJ fucking style. One, two. Wonder why they just nope. don't call it the blackout like they did before. Seth is trying to still put AJ away. Up, oh, Seth picks him up, and AJ reverses. And Style. AJ. Up handle. Yeah, Buster. And will he hit the phenomenal forearm? Hey, hit it. Is this the end of Seth Rollins? One, two, get kicked out. <laughs> okay, so far the light heavyweight division has been impressing. AJ with a knee drop. Oh, Seth Rollins. With a knee drop of his own. I mean, return is fair play. AJ almost shot away with the knee drop. That would have been embarrassing. Oh, Seth Rollins with a stiff punch. All they can do is go put his leg on the rope and get himself counted. Seth Rollins gets reversed. Because you know, our referees have the Ooh. vision of a blind man. Yes. AJ reverse Seth into a scorpion death drop. AJ with a suplex. Oh, brain buster. AJ. Oh. 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 Now, AJ, it's your time. D. Oh, no. No DDT. Seth Rollins, Irish whip into the corner. And now working on the arm of AJ Styles. Uh, stopping him at all on Styles. He is stunned. Seth, you know what to do. Yes, Not that. Stomp him. 
into oblivion. Elbow drop. And... Seth uh, Rollins. Oh, oh AJ is now setting him up. Nope, I thought he was going to set him up for the phenomenal forearm. Ooh. <laughs> now he is after that STO. Phenomenal forearm. Is that the end of Seth Rollins? <laughs> One, two, <laughs> Seth kicked out. Holy shit. How? Is Seth still alive? AJ, oh, 450! <laughs> third time's the charm? Oh, third time might oh. be the charm. Oh, nope. I Seth guess not. Moved out of the way. <laughs> wow, that. Oh, another STO. <laughs> okay, Joker, I think we've been sleeping on them. Well, Rollins, at least. Oh. We booked Styles yeah. a couple times. The spiral tap! He nails it! Funny, that was originally going to be Cass's end. finisher. One, two, three! AJ, AJ wins, wins off the spiral tap. Okay. I think they deserve spots. Yes, and if this is how our light heavyweight division is going to continue forward, it was a great idea to AJ. scrap that other women's championship. AJ, no! You're supposed to be the baby face! No! AJ! Seems like AJ supposed... just wants to be a heel. Fine, AJ, you can be the heel. Fine, AJ, we'll finally let you turn heel. He tried to do the same thing against Tommaso Ciampa. But hey, you know what? AJ, just for you. Round one will be AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins. So yeah, let's see. Can they do... Can Styles pull it off again after the pay-per-view? Yes, but that was a really good match in our light heavyweight division. Alright, up next everyone. It's joke it's one of Joker's favorite segments. More women, AJ Lee versus Serena Deeb. Why? Well I wanna keep AJ looking strong. She's she is after all the former mid card champion. Yeah. This is gonna be so fantastic. I'm glad you agree. That was sarcasm, Spectre. Nonsense. Spectre, you know it's sarcastic. Yeah, as I got another announcement, our ne our other man that's joined the light heavyweight tournament is Theory. Austin Theory. Yes, I can't wait to see how Theory does in his debut in the light heavyweight division. Well, I'm glad you agree, because he is going to go up against Pretty Jess. Actually, no, not Jess. I'm not sure if Jess is going to be in the tournament. Let's, let's see. I have other ideas for Jess. Eh, you know what? He can take on Pete Dunn. Ah, Pete Dunn. Nice. We're gonna have some muscle chopper. I think he's gonna go up against... Yeah. I think you're up against Roderick. And finally, we're going to have Matt Riddle. And you get it when you win yeah. in this? For the final spots? Um, I have to think, to be honest. Hmm. 
Yeah. You know what? I'll go in the ricochet. Ah, okay. Alright, give the man a chance to succeed. So that is our tournament. AJ Styles vs Seth Rollins, Austin Theory vs Pete Dunn, Tommaso Ciampa vs Roderick Strong, and Matt Riddle vs Ricochet. Yeah, they found the first light heavyweight champion. Then after that, we'll put every light heavyweight in the division, and yeah. we'll do the matches. Also, Joker, up next is our main events, and we got a message from our fallen hero. He says he has a special place in hell to, to defrost the Iceman. <laughs> special place in hell. Ah, uh, over Robert's dead body. As for Jacko, well, he's gonna banish him into the pit he crawled out of. <laughs> as far as Jackal Anarchy or Jess, well, they're it. already broken. I mean, you're kinda not wrong. Like, Jess is kinda fucked up in that. Oh, yeah, the dude flexes while he's losing a match. And he's still obsessed with Zarian for some reason. Sure. And he hasn't been doing that. He's been more so shaking while rocking back and forth on a construction crate. Uh, crate. Yeah, Je Jess is like, I think he's losing his mind more as of late. I feel sorry for the little man. I really do. Well, he made his bed, so now he can lie in it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the crazy clown does need some sleep. Will he ever sleep? The world may never know. Nah, he's too emotionally sad to sleep. Serena, yeah, but... stop. The camel clutch. Camel clutch. Why are y'all on the outside of the ring? This match cannot end on the outside of the ring. Oh boy, these women. They need to start getting their fucking axe to get Serena in the ring! Yeah. Do I need to There's download a... more women? Is that the problem? These women suck ass! Hey, they'll be better once we play them. I hope we can, you know, do better in the AEW video game because I think we could book this. a men versus women, so. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be very interesting, <laughs> you know. I don't know like, if they're going to have a creative championship, but I do kind of want to make a intergender championship. Oh, shit. Like, we could do that with fucking ease, an intergender championship. Hell, we can even have the intergender tag team championship. <laughs> you know, have men and women tag team together for All the right. championship. Who, so. who could our finals be? Uh, uh, Britt Baker Adam, and Cole Adam Cole and Britt Baker versus the Bunny and the Blade. <laughs> I mean, as long as the tag team Cassidy exists, and Chris you know. Statlander. Yeah, like, see, we, we can have a lot of good, you know, opportunities with the game. Even though we can't, I think they you know. would. Be, I think that would be the Mix Max 
Well, now I guess intergender would be appropriate. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised there hasn't ever... Actually, no, what? Doesn't Sammy Guevara and Ty Mello intergender tag team champions? I think so, yes. The AAA intergender tag team champion. All right, I forgot they were a thing. Yeah, like, only one company has really done, like, the intergender tag, and, like, I think us, if we did it, even if it's, like, on a video game, I think it would be groundbreaking. Because <laughs> I think it's a decent idea. And the Serenity Lock. And I can't wait for Jackal to become our first intergender champion. <laughs> Seems like Man, a massive downgrade for him, doesn't down. it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like... Jackal... wants to win titles when he can, so... As long as he hey, can remain... As long here. as he's on top. You know? This match and has been... And the Serenity Lock. You were saying? I was gonna say, this match has been pretty good, except for the time they spent outside of the fucking ring. AJ taps hey, out. AJ girl wins again. Serenity has been doing pretty good. I think we're looking at our next number one contender, Joker. Like, I mean, who else do we have that left? Doing great in... Right, and I would say Rhea Ripley, but she hasn't been on in a long time. Bailey? And she's a loser nowadays. She was a loser in the Paragon. What the fuck are you talking about? Nonsense. She was our longest reigning champion. Because of Jess! I thought Jess was the reason why she hated him. Jess? She she just hated Jess and tried to screw him out of the title and he kept retaining. And Jess somehow distracted the people Bailey was finding and kept Bailey as champion. Yeah, we may need, like, we may need to have an intergen no a mixed tag team match someday. It's gonna be Jess and And Bailey. I know, Serena Deeb <laughs> versus Zarian and Bailey. Who knows, maybe that should have been this match. But yeah, it's time for your main event. A normal tag team match. Yes, we're finally doing one. Yes. Yeah, so Unless like how Jess has decided to go. take the reins for his... Older brother. Yes. Yes. The Fig King. Yes, do you want that? I'll be right back. He is the king you deserve and the king you need. King Jack. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Zarian said. Yeah, Zarian also has an R message for Jackal after Survivor Series. He's gonna have. He's gonna make Jackal go back to working as the mascot for Burger King. Jackal has never been or ever will be the mascot of Burger King. Ah, you could have fooled him. Hey, it looks like the Burger King mascot. He l Actually, no, 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 I did. Personally, I disagree. I think the Burger King mascot is much more creepier than J Jackal. Hey, if you were to ask me, who would I want as my mascot? I'd pick Jackal over the Burger King mascot. Jackal <laughs> is less creepy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jackal is creepy as shit! Not as creepy as the Burger King mascot. I mean, fair. That mannequin had that the Burger King And there King we guy. go. Pretty creepy. There he is, the Red Wolf, Blake Baker. Oh, 
But yes, Mr. Baker. The man that defeated Brock Lesnar. Which I'm very surprised that he did. With some help from his brother. Yeah, Bannon, you fucked over Brock. Pretty hard. Yeah, Blake also told me after the match that he didn't do that for his brother. He simply did that to make a statement that he's done chasing the mid-card titles. And that after the Survivor Series, he's coming for Zarian's title. Well, everyone is gunning for Zarian's championship. Yeah. Zarin wrote him a blank check to come back and be his butler. <laughs> I'm Willie Take It. Well, the world may never know. Like, if he wants to become world champion, then yeah, he's not. Yeah, I do take agree. It. He, he can become the world champion's butler. <laughs> And here comes the fallen hero. Vaden. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I didn't put him in that uh, Walker outfit. No, oh, no. Does your friend like the direction we're going so far with Vaden and Robert? Or do you think it's a mistake? Um, I don't know, like, he says, like, it's good that we're, you know, splitting them up. But, like, it's just gonna be, like, how is it gonna affect them in the end, if it's gonna affect them at all? Hmm. Is your friend like Robert's new theme? Yes. And there's Jess. Yes, pretty Jess. Has your friend come around to the nickname? He just shakes his head and asks me why every time. I'm like, what's wrong with pretty Jess? I just called it that one day because I thought it was funny. Pretty emotionally sad. And it sounded a lot better than Pajess. <laughs> yes, it does sound a lot better than Pajess. And there comes the Iceman. What did your friend think of the new graphics for the Iceman? Do they like him a lot more than the other ones? Yes, because it actually looks like snow. Wow, how rude. Jackal doesn't come out to his brother. He cuts out to Robert. <laughs> yes, the cousin that Jackal likes better than his own brother. Yeah, his Twitter handle is at Robert Space Kurt. Follow him if it exists. <laughs> it does not. Oh, I must ask, what did your friend think of the rematch of the century? That lasted like two minutes. Zarian versus Jackal. Who? Um, my friend said we need a better match. Then, well, what had happened? We will get there once we get to Judgment Day. Yeah. I have a plan. Will... My plan is gonna be crazy, I assure you. But their our planes are always fucking crazy. <laughs> Not as crazy as this. This is gonna be a first time ever match. Yes, and if it's what we talked about off stream, then yes, <laughs> it's gonna be fucking insane. I'm not even sure if he was gonna win in the end. I honestly don't think 
anyone might win in the end, but hey, we'll see how well it fucking goes, though. It could be awful, it oh, could be bad. Taking it <laughs> to Pretty Jason. Here comes the fallen arrow. Yeah, so Blake, and you continue to ass. impress me. <laughs> but yeah, it's like. Yeah, I may Ooh. have to interfere because I got a job interview soon. So I may have to end up interfering so we could get this done quicker. We'll see. Possibly. Yes, we will see. We shall see. And there comes the Iceman. Ah, here we go. Yes. The former tag team partners finally go at each other. So far, so good in the tag team match. Yes. Oh, Valen. There a crash. And Robert moves out of the way. <laughs> now remember, Robert was our last Money in the Bank holder before we stripped him of that. Yes. And we gave it to Zarya. No, oh, not exactly. We never cashed in for him and we just restarted. Oh yeah, I had to feel sorry for Robert about that. We never. And then we fired him for half the series. Yes, and as I said, I feel really sorry for Robert that we never really gave him his chance. No, oh, here's his chance. Title. So if Robert ever won King of the Ring, would it be called King Ice? The Ice King? No, that's <laughs> from Adventure Time. Hey, we could call the Ice King Robert Kurtz. <laughs> Ice King Robert Kurtz. Oh my god. Hey, sounds is good. Yeah, it's like we kill Jackal the King of Darkness because, well, that's what he is. Or the King of Chaos. Or the Chaos well, yeah. King. Yeah, that as well, so... Hey, hey, if we want to, we could even steal something from Warhammer and call him the Chaos God. <laughs> and... True, broken true. Arrow. No, Ooh, broken Jackson's Arrow. not doing that well at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Team Zarian is kicking your ass right now, Team Jackal. Well, and family. another broken arrow to Jess. Oh, and he tags back in Valen. I mean, at least, you know, Valen oh. and... What a right hand. Oh, yeah, that was a pretty nasty right hand. Hey, but uh, at least you know Valen and Blake are working. Nuts. Oh, no! Of our fun arrow. Wonderland! Jesse, you like to break people's wheels and their balls. One, two, Valen kick them. That's Jess gone for Jess. Body flash. I thought Blake was gonna intercept. One, two. Valen oh. kicked out. If he hadn't had kicked out, oh, what? Blake would have been right there. Oh, Jeff. Oh, suplex. Yep, it's still broken. Oh. I remember why we didn't do this. Yes. Don't do it, Jess. Don't do it. Yes, put him down. Oh, oh. Give him a break, ref. Oh, what? Things are breaking down. Yeah, Robert and Jeff are. Nah, nah, nah. Well, let's see where this goes. <laughs> yeah. 
Jalen just went through the announce team. What? <laughs> well, um, I think this is a good well, place to do this. Three. Oh. Four. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, you don't do that. You're a very naughty guy. How happen? It never goes to plan, does it? No, no, it does not. I mean, I guess that's a... Consider that a preview for what's going to happen. I'm sure Zarian shaking his head at whatever that was. Yes, that they wouldn't get back inside the ring. Like, they're ready to tear each other apart at Survivor Series. Maybe I'll have to make it a tornado tag. Nah, let's just keep it the, uh... I knew that's if we want to make it interesting. It let's see if we can do a tornado tag Iron Man match. <laughs> it's supposed to be elimination. Hey, so is this Survivor Series, but that's not happening now, is it? I would do a War Games match, but that can't happen. Yeah, because... We have too many people for Hell in a Cell. Maybe. We'll see. Hey everyone. We will see you at Survivor Series. The main event is the Chaos Family versus Zarian, Valen Navit, Edge, and Blake Baker. No Edge tonight. <laughs> yes, no Edge. Eddie Guerrero <laughs> defends the Intercontinental Championship against LA Knight and Kevin Owens. Who's your friend thinks gonna win that one? He would like Kevin to regain back his title. Okay. Jamie Hayter versus Io Shirai. Wait, who is he thinks going to win that? I want Jamie. He said he doesn't care who wins as long as it's a good match. Fair enough. The Hart Foundation versus FDR versus Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. Elimination tag match. Well, since the FDR is since FTR is going to be in it, he's probably going to go for them. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with... I think Heart Foundation's going to go gonna retain. I think it's either going to be Heart Foundation or FTR. Crimson Grey versus Karrion Cross in a 60-minute Hell in a Cell Iron Man match. Honestly, I can't even say who I think is going to win that. I think Crimson's going. Who's your friend think? He said, um... He's not even gonna take a guess. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking chaotic. Oh, we may even start the show with that match. <laughs> oh, God. And finally, Brock Lesnar versus Ben Bannon in Extreme Rules False Count Anywhere match. For the United States Championship. Who's he got I, for that? I hope it's going to be Bannon. But my friend, he's probably going to be going for Brock. <laughs> ah, we will see you then. See you next time.